So, one thing I want to hit on is, is when we're pouring this stuff, um, whenever we're doing this here, don't pour this stuff on the driveway. Um, I had an employee, we were doing a paper sealing job in the back of the house, and he decided that he was gonna pour this on the driveway. Well, let's just say he wasn't that um, very good at pouring it in, hitting the hole, and he got a big spill of it on the driveway, and now we have two shiny spots, and the customer was pissed. And so we had to go get stripper, and then it was trying to make it look the same, so we had to end up cleaning the driveway. And so the, the thing of that is, is do it out on the road, do it on the in the grass, but don't do it on the driveway. And even if we are gonna seal that driveway, I wouldn't recommend pouring it on the driveway because now you might be dropped some, and now you're gonna do some area. So either put down a piece of plastic, put down a yard sign, or like I'm gonna actually do it out here on the road so then that way I can make sure I don't make a mess. And that's the important part of if I make a mess out here, two or three cars are gonna run over it and nobody's ever gonna know it. If I do it on the driveway, now it could have a puddle and now when we spray it again, it could look off. And so these are some things that we wanna think about when we're pouring this in. There it is. There's the spill. It fitted a little bit. Now we can pour it this way, and you can see we're getting air. We can also pour it upside down like so, and this will give us a little bit better pour. So then that way we're giving it air. If I can pour it, but we're giving it air in the tank, and so that's going to keep it from glub glub glubbing a lot. And you can see we're getting a better flow by just turning up the can upside down this way. So that's allowing air into the the five gallon a minute or the five gallon so that way we get a nice flow of putting it upside down i know a lot of times we don't think of putting it upside down would do anything but you can see how much it's not blub blub blubbing anymore and it's giving me a nice flow to get this thing filled up make sure you're on a level ground so that this doesn't fall over or do any of that kind of stuff where I spilled it here on the ground here and that's a no-no right and that's what I was just saying so on these cans you got a little indentions here and you turn this here and then now what we're going to do is is we're going to tighten this up and it'll tighten that up against there to make that good style seal there and we're going to pop it up I can go in there, but I want to make sure I got a good spray before we um, get started in there. So we can got a nice spray, so when we go in there to spray it, we'll be ready to rock and roll. 